So today, we are gonna be installing the H and R low ring springs. Today, we are gonna be installing the H&R low ring springs. One of the things that this car has is equipped with that, uh, what do you call it, the electronic suspension. I forget what they call it, I'm sorry guys. But because of that, it has a dope suspension on it already. So we're gonna be okay with going with the springs for now. We will be going probably coilovers, I would say, before SEMA. So that is the hope, that is the intentions, or possibly bags. We're trying to make it all work within the limited time frame that we have. So we're gonna get in there, drop this thing about an inch. I think it'll give it a lot more aggressive stance. I always like Anthony, dude. He's so on top of me, he's just like, let's do it right now. Pulls it right in. Should be a quick, easy install. We'll show you guys the process. One thing after making all these videos, I realized that you guys really don't see the color truly on camera. It doesn't show properly for whatever reason. So sometimes it looks super yellow. Sometimes it looks super neon. Um, it's right in the middle. But yeah, like I said, guys, you guys don't really see what it looks like and take a seat in person. All right, so here's what that rear gap looks like. We got, let's see, it's like a four finger. So that's on the rear. I'm hoping to take that down to maybe a two. I like two fingers too. Two fingers. This is also like four fingers there. So yeah, we're gonna have to definitely fix that. Hey man, more fingers the better, right? <laughs> All right guys, so I was lying to you. We're actually doing a big wing install and we got it done already. I'll show you what it looks like. Damn! Oh, look at these wing risers. That actually looks pretty damn good. This looks crazy. That looks like a Viper. Yo, that's okay, insane. Um, Jack, what are we doing first, bro? First, we're gonna talk about how dope your shirt is. That's pretty tight, dude. I like that. You need to make more alive on the website already. You gotta make more. <laughs> what are we doing? We're prepping the car for lowering springs. Right, so first things first, they remove all the plastic trims that are up here on top of this BMW engine, Toyota engine. Uh, so those are off, and you're gonna start working from the top, right? I'm gonna copy Adam LZ, because okay. it looks pretty easy. I mean, we have spring compressors if we need them, but uh, we're basically gonna drop the car back down. That's one thing Dope doesn't know. So it's gonna go back on the ground, we're gonna loosen up the top bolt, and basically use the weight of the car to kind of decompress the spring keep the wheel on so if anything shoots out it doesn't hit us. No, it's just kind of because you need the weight of the car. Gotcha. So we'll do that first and then after that we'll take the wheels off and then copy Adam LZ. And if that doesn't work, we have, if we want to get the strut out, this is actually for VWs, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work on the BMW. And we've got these gnarly That's bastards. Easy. That's beef. We needed those for my truck when we were working out. Yep. We have one of them. All right. We're going to take this bolt off. This is the dangerous way of doing it, but it's a quick and dirty way. Oh, no. So we're going to take that bolt out, and then we're going to lift the car up. And then it's going to basically unwind the spring so it's not under tension. And then we'll be able to pull everything out. It's a dangerous way to do it, but it's how somebody else do it, so. What do you mean? We're gonna do anything dangerous here. So one thing is, is that, can you get the camera down in here? Yes. It has a, basically a hex Allen top in it. So we're gonna utilize that. And this isn't exactly the right wrench. They actually make special wrenches that do this, that are a 90 degree angle. This one has a slight taper to it. So you wanna get that on there first. I actually broke it free. It was on there pretty tight. And what you want to do is utilize the Allen to keep the shaft straight and not turn. The shaft. Yeah. Some people do it the opposite way, but this is actually the better way to do it. Ugh. 
Okay. So, people had steps missing out of their videos, because I know they loosened up stuff down here and all this stuff, but what I'm actually gonna do is actually compress the spring down a little bit, just to relieve more tension. Broke the news to Jack that we're gonna be doing some collaboration wraps with some other well-known YouTubers. So he's not too happy with me. He might not talk for the rest of the day, but hey. Oh no! I just want to make sure that he doesn't get mad at me at the end of the month. <laughs> you better make money. You got to take off the sway bar, right? I forgot to take something off. So you got to take the sway bar off to get yeah, the spring on. It, it, so we're just struggling trying to, trying to get this thing back in, but it's really hard because the sway bar's still on, so we can't get that angle to get the freaking strut in. We got we're together! Let's get it! The fuck oil! Back into the top. We're putting the strut mount in the hole. And we got the jack to jack this up. You jack. What do you want for lunch? Wobble grill? All right, uh, sounds good. I love wobble grill. While these guys are getting this done. I gotta talk to you guys about something. Everybody keeps tagging me about this recall that's happening that everybody's so bummed at BMW called the recall out. I don't know why, the reality is the car is built by BMW, so if the recall exists and BMW is the one to call it out, it is what it is. But the one thing that I, I really started to interpret from what a lot of you guys are commenting on Instagram and YouTube um, was that nobody actually read the article. And you know, everybody's tagging me saying, oh, B your car's getting recalled, this and that. There was seven cars in total that are being recalled. So if you guys aren't aware, there was some faulty welds that were discovered. I don't know how they discovered that seven of the vehicles that left uh, the facility when they were made had problems. I don't know how they did. They x-ray them? So they found out that seven of these cars have issues. From what I understand, they're gonna be reaching out to seven individuals and telling them, hey, you're getting a new Supra. So because of the faulty welds, which I think is cool. And I kind of wish it was mine because that'd be really cool content. So. You know, if mine is the one with faulty welds, I'm not bummed about it. I would more than, more than happy to let them take it and get another one to start over again because, hey, that'd be fun. BMW, Toyota, whoever it is, call me. Tell me it's me. I'll be one of seven. I'll be number eight if you want. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, for everybody asking about the recall on the BMW, Toyota Supra, yada, 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 that's it. That's what I've heard. And then another thing, a lot of people keep asking about what I think about the car and how I feel about it. And, you know, I'm not bummed on the car having a BMW motor. I never, in my life, I've never heard a BMW really being a bad thing, you know, at least I'm not on a new car. You get an older BMW with some miles on it, there's some problems, we all know that. But this is a brand new car. Um, I think that if Toyota was capable of building an engine, this might be controversial, controversial. If Toyota was capable of building a vehicle that was on the level of a 2J, which in my opinion, it's 20 year old technology. It's evolved way further than that. And the B58 was the engine that, it was the predecessor. Like the B58 was already a better engine. So I think Toyota looked at it like this, like, hey, if we can't beat the B58, we might as well use the B58. So that's what they did. Um, I don't think Toyota is not capable of making a better engine. I just don't think there's that want or desire. So for those of you guys that are bummed about it, Toyota has decided this, you know, not not us, not, any, not the enthusiasts. This was Toyota's decision, so. What? I heard they're making a 3JZ. You heard that? No, I was just kidding. If they do, I'd be bummed on that. See, that would bum me out if there was a 3JZ that came out, you know, in like a year from now, which up, I'd have to upgrade. You know, I just made that up, right? You made that up? No, no they're he, making a 4JZ, baby. <laughs> he didn't make it up, he saw it on the internet. Yeah, he saw it on the internet. He halfway read the article and then started spewing shit all over the comments. <laughs> That's what people do, bro. They read the headlines. They're like, oh, BMW recalls the Supra. And then everybody's commenting on my shit like it's the end of the fucking world. 
and it's not, you know. And on top of that, if you would have read the article, you would have understood that it was seven vehicles out of the thousands that have been released. I mean, I don't know how many are out there yet, so don't quote me on that. But I know 1,500 launch editions have been out, and then plus all of these, so a couple thousand cars out there, and it's really not a big deal. What car hasn't had a recall, you know what I mean, as far as a brand new platform, especially something like this, which is kind of like a Frankenstein in my opinion. Use the jack on the lower control arm ball joint to get it lined up. Yeah, so don't do what I did on the other side. This side is so much faster. Huh? Don't do what Adam LZ did. Yeah, actually, the same thing he did, so his, his methods actually. We follow the Adam LZ tutorial guide over here. The power of YouTube, right? Thank you, Adam LZ. Thank you, Adam LZ. doing is taking this bolt out and then this bolt and then after that everything should just drop nicely and then we just slip the, the, the spring out. Before these guys finish up the install, I want to give a big shout out to Speed Industry. I mentioned them in our last video, but they've been really good to us. So they actually sourced these springs for us and got them here within a day. Um, I know that they have product for FRS, BRZ, uh, 86 community, as well as now the Supras. So like I said, I want to give a big shout out to, shout out to them. Uh, go to their website if you got one of these vehicles or if you have FRS, BRZ. I know they got a ton of parts, 86 in general. That's what it is, right? The 86 culture. 86. 86 speed these guys are, the, are just awesome so like i said guys i wanted to give a big shout out to speed industry um, follow them on instagram go to their website see if they got parts for your car the customer service the kind of i don't know how to explain it but having a face to your brand people that are good to you that are easy to work with it's hard to come by in the automotive world so really appreciative and thankful for their support on the supra so they did provide these springs once again so thank you guys Crap, that looks way better. Come see it, Jamin! Oh, yeah, that's it. Sure, put, put blocks under. Yeah, so now we're not gonna go get off the quick jack. We gotta block it. Yeah, no. On camera, though? What are you doing? No. You need some flexing, dog. I meant it when I said none of this shit would be possible without these guys, so I love these dudes. <laughs> Damn, this shit looks dope. I know you're tired, but what do you think? Uh, I can't think my head hurts. Can't think. Show me the boo-boo, bro. Show me the boo-boo. Dude, I just went right into your freaking studs, man. Yeah. Honestly, man. Dude, he took one to the jugular almost. Where? Oh shit, that's really bad. I need stitches. That looks way better. So let's go and see our gap now. We had three fingers, or four fingers before. Now we got, I'd say three, three, kind of two. If you got regular size fingers, I got small fingers. That looks good. Yeah, maybe a little bit of settling, but it looks way better. I guess you got the waiting engine over there, but the rear needs a little bit of work, but it looks way better. Always, always remember, torque down your wheels. <laughs> 